underground radio station here, and we say what we feel like saying. Agent X of the Radio First Tremor Shows. The following program is brought to you in high definition. Dave Rabbit Audio. Hey everybody, boy, do we have one hell of a show for you tonight. As always, we're rocking along here. A little bit of blues, a little bit of rock from Strut McPherson. And the hits just keep on coming. All double wide from Strut McPherson from somewhere in the United States. Not too sure. Uh, doesn't have a website. Couldn't find anything on Strut McPherson. These songs that you're listening to, including Double Wide, the very first cut, uh, were posted on the Podsafe Music Network back in 2006. 
Couldn't find anything on them. This has happened to me a few times. Uh, find some great music. Go to try to research them, try to get photographs, try to find out a history or whatever. Find nothing. zippity doo da. The only thing I found on Strut McPherson is McPherson Struts, which is an automobile strut. Uh, and so I created this little artwork for them. <laughs> <laughs> with her name because i haven't you know didn't have anything didn't have any pictures of the band didn't have anything so anyway uh that's kind of how it goes but in you know, the music was just so great that you know i just had to bring it to you so i decided to go ahead and throw them up anyway now because there's only three songs i'm giving you a little bit longer cut of each of the songs and i hope you'll enjoy the little bit longer cuts uh, but, you know, we got a, a, two other songs that are really good, and I think you're going to enjoy those also. Plus, a, I think we got a great movie that I think you're going to really enjoy. Uh, I reviewed it last night, and I think you'll uh, be interested in seeing what I have to say about it. Uh, maybe one or two other things we're going to throw in. I keep looking over here on the Internet and see things constantly that piss me off, so we'll see how the evening goes. Uh, let's get the show started. My background movie of the week is one that I absolutely love. Came out the 14th of December, 1984, by John Carpenter called Starman, starring Jeff Bridges, Karen Allen, Charles Martin Smith, and Richard Jackal. Now, made 24, well, actually, it, it cost 24 million to make, made 29 million, made like $5 million. Now, Here's the thing about John Carpenter movies to me. Now, he made Halloween, which was scarier in hell. He made the original Fog, which was also scary in hell. He made the, he produced the remake of The Fog, which was also scary in hell. And I thought actually scarier than the first one, even though Adrian Barbeau's titties uh, in the first one really were a lot better than the titties that were in the remake. Now, uh, this movie, unlike those others that he's done, is a very tender-hearted movie. Uh, is tender-hearted in, in because of the way Jeff Bridges brings the innocence of an alien species that's uh, found the Voyager Two uh, record that was sent up, uh, inviting uh, whatever alien species found it to come and visit the Earth, basically. Uh, of course, he is, uh, as he's coming to Earth, uh, you know, his she shot down, uh, crashes. He goes over uh, this watered area to a, a house. Uh, now, keep in mind, he's a spirit at this stage or you know, whatever entity they are. And uh, through the miraculous, uh, I guess, uh, technique of uh, DNA, uh, gets the DNA from Jeff Bridges, who plays the dead husband of Karen Allen and becomes Jeff Bridges. I know this sounds complicated, folks, but it's really not. And uh, the premise, obviously, of the movie is that she, you know, is freaking her out. This guy looks like her ex-husband. Uh, they start a very adversarial role with each other. And as the movie progresses and as they head towards New Mexico, where he hopefully is going to be rescued, uh, she becomes extremely fond of Jeff Bridges' character. And that's really what the heart of this movie is. Uh, Jeff Bridges, you know, as the alien, uh, he doesn't quite understand a lot of things. And so she kind of helps him along. But a lot of things he just observes. And, and that's there's a lot of funny, good-hearted things in this movie that, you know, I think you're really going to have a good time with. You can still get Starman. Almost at any DVD store, you could probably also get it, you know, from Amazon and some of those people uh, by going online. So, uh, like I said, we got two great songs coming up still. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit longer version, and I think you're going to enjoy those. Let's get started. This is called On My Way. <laughs> 